Good morning, everybody. It is another manic Monday, even though you can't tell oh, oh, it's from that manic. shot. The oh, pigeons, it's manic. <laughs> they're manic this morning. Guys, what a weekend. I don't even know what to, so much going on. So much happening in the world. Where are you at? Because I, I, I drove in this morning and I'm thinking to myself, there are 30 discussions I want to have with you. So on this many show. discussions, Sid. So, what, what, what would you like to Let's talk go about? in chronological order. Let's okay. start with Friday. You wanted to ease in the Friday, you wanted to have fun, then you heard about the press conference being delayed. Uh, so, of course, reporters were in a, in, a, in a panic, thinking, my gosh, this is too close to our timeline. What's happening? What's the Ford government going to say? And there was that rollout of clamping down on playgrounds. Uh, was it nine or ten people allowed in, in churches for wedding uh, funerals? It's ten. ten. Yeah. And, but, but the playgrounds had even the infectious disease experts going, huh? Outside? What's wrong with outside? We hear people who love to golf, people who love to play baseball, saying we thought outside was relatively safe. Um, and then there was the police, the checkpoints, where people were saying, oh, okay, this is a whole bunch of civil that rights, freaked, liberties The second that issues. came out of the Solicitor General's mouth, Dina, I was like, whoa, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. The, like, what people across the country, especially in specific communities, are thinking hearing that? Mm -hmm. And the fact that not one police department was basically squared away on this before making that announcement and again, was why? unbelievable. Why that? As opposed to larger group settings, or why this individual policing of people on the streets or the sidewalks? That was a weird measure. That seemed way too extreme, that they're against any sort of curfew, but that that seemed plausible and okay. Um, and then there was the rollback shortly after, because there was an uproar, and that shows the power in the people who stand up and say, actually, this is not okay. Did that at least allay fears for you when you saw some 24 hours later? They're like, let's open up the playgrounds and we will not be stopping people randomly on the street. Well, streets. I'm watching television Saturday and I'm seeing people in playgrounds anyway. Right. Didn't matter. Like, none of these, that's what, it's, it's starting to freak me out a bit what I'm seeing is, because let's go back to a year ago, and I think you and I brought this up last yeah. week. When there was a stay at home last March and April, what did people do? Stay at home. Stay at home. You could, there, were, there was very few people in the streets. And... <laughs> the day after parks are closed for kids, a lot of people just didn't care. A, a day after police enforcement's enhanced, almost every police department in the province, aside from the OPP, who has to take care of the borders, because now they have to, yeah. they have to say it. Yeah. But everyone else said, I'm not getting hauled into, into court over a civil rights dispute. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Have you lost your mind? Mayor Tory was like that on the tweets immediately after. Now, one mayor or police department, vir virtually all of them, we're going to go along with this. How do you go in front of cameras? I'm serious. How do you go in front of cameras with news that serious and not talk to your police and not talk to your lawyers? That's insane. We're over a year into this, and we got to sit there and watch this and say, I trust them. I trust everything that's going on around me. In 24 hours, it unraveled like a four-year-old tied it together. So you're saying it's just breaking down that trust that's needed now more than ever. What about the paid leave? That was the main issue that's been brought up this whole time. Paid leave? People feel forced to go to their jobs or they're afraid they're going to lose them to go to get their vaccine. So what about that? Why is that not being done? That seems like an easy enough fix. I would agree with you 100%. I would agree with you 100%. And what really gets me going is the news late last night that AstraZeneca guidelines in the province after a federal press conference like earlier in the day reminded Ontario, by the way, you can give it to anyone over 18. Mm -hmm. It's just an advisory committee uh, diagnosis. So Ontario says, all right, we're going AstraZeneca, which, by the way, are all about to expire in the freezers. Yeah. You can now go from 55 to the age of 40. Now, I'm all for that. If, if I'm being honest, if I'm given the chance to take AstraZeneca, I probably would. However, I am not going to buy the Ford government in a desperate attempt at saving PR and saving these vaccines, telling me I can now take it. If the advisory committee on immunization, the federal committee, wants to tell me, as I'm over 40, I know I look under 30, whatever, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Sidebar. If I'm over 40. If they tell me I can take it, thank you, Nick. If they tell me I can take it, then yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. A desperate government looking for anything to grab on while the Titanic is sinking is not going to convince me to take this vaccine. If real doctors say you can take it, I'm in. And if you don't want to take AstraZeneca, the PR campaign worked. I'm not mad at anybody. Mm -hmm. I get it. But my head is spinning, Dina. This is like, I've been, I've been lucky You're enough mad. to work with every. I'm upset. I've, I've been lucky enough to work on this show for now well over a month. I have not felt the way I feel this morning at any point. And I, I don't know where to go from here because I don't see myself getting any less angry with things that might happen today or tomorrow or the next day. And there was an element here of, 
we're now on our own. And I hate to start a morning like that, but sometimes you gotta. And that's the feeling I'm getting right now. By the way, golf guy who's upset, I don't care. Shut up. I don't care. There are way too many things we gotta think about right now. I, I don't care if, if, you, if you've lost the right to shoot your 120 and tell your friends you shot a 94. I don't care about that. I think their point is it's care. recreational, it's physically distanced outside, and they don't understand the science behind that decision, considering the outdoors is deemed super safe compared to indoors. Dina, don't bring logic into this okay. discussion. I'm angry. Please. Also, the federal government, Trudeau, is saying we're going we're gonna to send help. Because it is, we're like New York but was. What Remember when New York was when it was just but, everybody and every but ICU was full? What does that mean? Full? Help. What does that mean? Staff, ICU staff. Okay, we we have we have so many beds that need ICU people. God bless yeah. Atlantic Canada. And how much help are they going to send us? Yeah. BC's got issues. Alberta's got issues. I got news for you. Most Western provinces don't like us. That's it. So I don't know. I don't know how much help is coming. So aside from that, I had a great weekend. It sounds like it. So many people relate to your <laughs> anger. Uh, share your thoughts, friends. We're going to talk about this all morning long. Then, of course, Saturday, by the way, I saw that funeral was so beautiful for Prince, Prince Philip. Prince Philip, I did see some of that, yeah. I did see it. And that's, I, I feel like that's the panacea we all needed. It was like, let's just take a moment. It was nice to see a virtual mass. They did a beautiful, a touching tribute. And it was, well, seeing the Queen all by herself. Moment so of reflection. Questions about, moment of reflection. It's a great point. Okay, it's 7 o'clock. You're watching BT. Let's reflect together. We're here together.